The fire broke out shortly after 6 this morning and has caused extensive damage. Dozens of fire crews have been battling the blaze for hours. The entire parliamentary complex is severely damaged, uh, waterlogged and smoke damaged. Um, so there's going to be damage extensively. The roof above the old uh, assembly chamber is, the old assembly hall is completely gone. Um, as per the photographs we also posted and the offices adjacent to it in the gym are destroyed. Um, Minister DeLille did indicate that those might be the offices of, of good. Um, the uh, second point of fire is the National Assembly Chamber behind me, which you can see, uh, which is gutted. The structural ceiling has collapsed. President Cyril Ramaphosa was on scene to assess the damage. He says a suspect has been taken in for questioning. It's something that will still be investigated. I believe somebody <clears throat> is being held right now and they are being questioned. But we need to go a lot deeper, a lot deeper uh, into how this type of event can take place and what measures we will need to take going forward. Various stakeholders within Parliament have raised concerns about security at the building. Surprised, we were informed that the night shift was not at work uh, last night and we're told that Parliament took a decision to withdraw uh, night shift uh, staff from working weekends and public holidays on the claim that they do not have money to pay them uh, over time for working on weekends and public holidays. So to us that was shocking because Parliament is a, a national key point and it's supposed to be guarded 24-7. It was supposed to uh, hasten, we were supposed to take uh, resolutions as a matter of agency. You know uh, that uh, Zondo, for example, will be given the report after centuries, really, uh, next week. He will be given the report. The people of South Africa are waiting for uh, that. But then ourselves as the opposition parties, we have in our offices our own documents there. And uh, it means it's going to be very hard for us to respond. I mean, if our documents uh, have been burned down, we're going to have it uh, extremely uh, difficult. It's not only Zondo only, but a whole lot of uh, other things. Members of parliament did not want to be drawn on the issue of security. I'm not going to speculate on what different stakeholders and people are saying. Once the official report becomes available yes. and we become aware of information, it will be shared with the public. But at this yes. stage, I cannot comment on that because I'll be speculating. Speaker of Parliament, Nosi Viwe Mapisa Ngakula, says the State of the Nation address will go ahead despite the fire in the National Assembly building. She says they will conduct a full investigation once the fire has been extinguished. Ah, Tule Joga, SABC News, Parliament, Cape Town.